Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, I've got to say, I'm really, really excited about today's vlog. Now, over the past eight or nine months, I have seen so many negative comments on YouTube about the two most recent upgrades of vehicles to the Chevrolet line, the Silverado and the Camaro. It's mind boggling. I, I was blown away by it. Never have I seen so many negative comments about a car refresh that I so hardly love both vehicles. So I know there's gonna be some comments on this vehicle, especially about this front end. But let me tell you something, before you go quick to judge and say it looks like crap, it will never sell, all that stuff I've already seen and heard before, go look at it in person and then decide. So let's get right into showing you this vehicle. This is a 2019 1SS 1LE Camaro. Now, obviously you know the biggest changes are the front and the back, along with the new infotainment display that is in this vehicle, absolutely awesome. The new mirror, which I'm gonna have to show you on the, another video, but also one question I had, I really love these lights. Can they go into a 16 to 18 body style. I know that answer, and I'm gonna share that with you later on in the vlog, but let's go over what's new, what's changed. This is a beautiful brand new color. We're gonna talk about that. And of course, I know I'm waiting for a whole lot of comments to happen on this front end. So let's start with this front end, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're driving during the day with those brand new LED daytime running lights. Now, a few videos, over the summer, people are like, those lights look hideous, they go way too far. I think it's really unique, and I love the way it looks, and it's a very distinct look as well. Of course, now all the two SS's have the flow tie in it, and that big old black band that goes across. Again, another unique thing. Also, what I love about the new splitter is how aggressive that looks. I mean, that splitter is extremely aggressive, great lines, and then it's got the built-in winglets right there as well. You got the LED down low, you got the two LEDs up top, projector style head beams. They do say, I don't know if you can see that, they do say Camaro right there. Really, really unique styling there as well. And then of course, you have all the new grill up front, bigger, wider mouth. I would imagine there's gotta be some type of more airflow going in there as well. I'm trying to simulate what it looks like at night so that way your competitors can see you coming in the rear view mirror, passing them. Uh, that is an absolutely awesome view of the car. And if you're seeing any flickering in the LEDs, that's just the frame rate of the camera showing up. Coming to the back, I'll show you these new tail lights. Now these are LED tail lights, so really, really fast response time when you hit that brake pedal and obviously a whole lot brighter. So since I'm the only one here, enjoy the sweet sound of the dual mode NPP exhaust that's on this 1LE, and I will hop in the car, hit the brake lights, hit the reverse lights, so that way you can see them as well. So now I'm showing you the LED nighttime lights. I've turned the lights on. I'm gonna go shut those off and show you what those look like as well. And now let's hop into this 2019 Camaro 1SS. And we'll do a quick overview of the brand new MyLink radio. Now, 
There's three levels of this radio. This is the level number two. And I really do enjoy this radio. So as you can see right up here, we have that you can do multiple users. So you can have these radios customized to the way you like it, the way you drive, all that stuff like that. Um, this is in demo mode. So uh, I don't wanna go in there and change anything. Obviously you have your Wi-Fi hotspot. Right there is your Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi name. So you can change that and it does get changed when you uh, purchase the car. So you got your audio in here. So you got your AM, FM, and satellite radio, which is nice. Hit the more button here. And then if you got your Bluetooth hooked up or USB port installed, you'll have those options as well. One really cool thing uh, and big change is they've got the channels up here. They used to be down here at the bottom, but now they're up there. And of course we have CarPlay and Android Auto. So now uh, you have separate apps for those. And when you plug in, you go through there and of course, huge thing love this uh that you can have now you can have ways you can have apple maps you have google maps um across apple and of course ways and google maps over on android as well so inside the app store you have all sorts of different apps that you can do in there as well and then you have on the one le car you have the performance data recorder in there as well you have different overlays you have sport track performance timing and no overlay as all well. that um, allows you to make me have like a dash cam which I always recommend having a dash cam. And the one I personally use is Vava. And if you want to purchase that, there's a link in the description of this video. That's a really good one. So these are just different OnStar services that you can have and whatnot. Your account would be in here right now. So now it's in demo mode. Uh, as I explained earlier, we go back to home. You have all your settings in here. You can do languages. You can have your apps. You can have your vehicle. So if you don't like CarPlay, and you want to shut that off you can do that as well you have different audio settings in here as well so if you want to do tone if you want to do fade and balance you can do that as well inside there very very quick response when you touch it it works and very very simple to use as well so coming to the steering wheel of this 2019 camaro now this is a 1le as i've mentioned a couple times before so you have alcantara uh, steering wheel which is really really nice you have alcantara on the shifter you have alcantara on the seats right there which these are recaro seats and it'll probably be hard to see but uh, we have heads up display as well on the one ss one le car we also have rev match on the car which this all it does is turn it on and turn it off it's redundant on the right or left and the best way to explain this is electronic heel toe so every time you downshift it puts the car at the perfect rpm to not lose momentum or lock up the rear tires in the one ss you just have single climate control so this does the temperature as you can see right there this does the fan speed which you can see up there and then you have where you want it to go it's automatic climate control and this front and rear window defogger right there so all of these are redundant right there on the MyLink radio as well as the temperature as well you want to shut it all off hit that button it shuts it all off right behind the shifter knob is three more buttons we have our electronic parking brake there if you want to set it just push down on it if you want to release it push your foot on the brake pull up on it and releases also you can start driving with your brake on and it automatically releases it once it gets to a certain amount of pressure we're going to skip this button because i'm going to show you that here in a second and then this is traction control now there's different features inside the traction control so you're going to want to read your owner's manual on how those work but in a nutshell if i push this one time you're going to come up here and see that we have traction control off if i hit it a second time it'll turn the traction control on if i hit it two times very quick we have our performance traction active handling and we can roll down to what we're going to do right there based off of the driving conditions i'm going to turn this back on and then we're going to talk about the track this mode button that's right here now there are four driving modes to the vehicle and if you've heard the exhaust move a couple times because i was pushing those so i'm gonna push this down we go into sport i'm gonna shut my mouth so i'm not sure if the microphone is catching that how it's going quiet 
and loud. Touring mode is the second safest mode on the vehicle. Then we go to sport mode, track mode, and then snow and ice, which is the safest mode on the vehicle. Touring mode is gonna give you the softest ride and the softest control of the steering wheel. You go to sport mode, this automatically stiffens up a little bit, the suspension stiffens up, and you have a little bit better handling, and then track mode is exactly for that. It's for the track, and this is where you're gonna get your best stability track system off, and basically just have a race car when we come down here and we put this in race, now this is complete 100% race car when we put it in that mode and you can do whatever you want with it. Before we head to the engine, we will show you this right here. This is where you put your SD card for the performance data recorder. Now I always recommend a 32 gig SD card. It gives you plenty of time of recording and you wanna use a full size SD card, not a micro SD card with an adapter. So let's pop this hood and we'll show you the best thing on this car. Being that this is a 1LE car, it automatically comes with the flat black wrap hood. This is the new heat extractor for the vehicle. I'm gonna lift the hood up and show you how that looks underneath. Very functional and I don't know. I kind of like my hood better um, on the car. I think having the two gills on the side are much better, but GM I'm sure has probably done some engineering on this and found that this allows heat to get out much quicker of the engine bay. So I trust them 100% and I'll show you under here how that looks as well. So that looks to be a lot more heat can go out faster than those little hood extractors that are on the current 17, 16, and 18 model year cars. Uh, underneath the hood, really nothing's changed. It's all the same. LT1 engine, direct injection, 455 horsepower. You have the air intake over here. Now I always recommend changing the air intake out and the absolute best cold air intake on the market is a cold air inductions intake. You can get those right at your GM dealership or go right on cold air inductions website and get one for yourself. That is a GM a factory approved cold air intake so it does nothing to your warranty and no dealership can ever sit there and tell you that you need to change it back. Also, one thing that I do recommend also on these engines is a oil catch can. The oil catch can is very, very huge benefit to keeping oil deposits out of the vehicle. Again, I'm not an expert on that level. But I do have one installed on mine, and the one that I found that works the best is the Tracy Lewis Performance Catch Can, and I'll have links to both of those in the description. So I'm gonna head over to the store, and I'm gonna show you actually the three blue colors that we currently have on our vehicles. One uh, being the 2016 Camaro, this Riverside Blue, and then the Admiral Blue on the 2019 Corvette. But before I do head over there, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn bell notifications on, because I have some huge contests coming up, and both contests are gonna be worth over $400 cash value. And uh, I just wanna have some fun on the channel. I want you to be involved with it. And if you wanna see some behind the scenes and additional content, hit the join button uh, right next to the subscribe button. And if you don't see it, there's a link in the description as well. So here's all three colors. We have my 2000. 2016 Hyper Blue, we have the new Riverside Blue on the 19 Camaro, and we have the Admiral Blue on the 2019 Corvette. Now, before I did the research, and when I say research, I'm not just looking at the color codes that you order with, I'm going deeper in and looking up the WA codes, which you use to mix the paint. Um, I did a lot of research between these two because I thought they were the same color, and obviously you can see that they're not. I love both colors, and um, yeah, really, really close, but yet so far away. Come over here and look at the two Camaro Blues, Hyper and Riverside Blue. You can see that those are way different. And uh, again, I like the colors. I think they're cool. There you go. That's a good view right there. That shows off how bright that is. And both of them are metallic. Both of them have metal flake in them, along with Admiral Blue as well. So there's a good video of the Admiral Blue versus the Riverside Blue. So coming back to the taillights of these two vehicles, um, you know, I don't think it's gonna work. So big change would be how this is bezeled in right here and how this comes up right there, where this is just flat. Now, looking at these side by sides, I gotta tell you, 
again, I'm liking the lines of this right here. I think this is really cool how this comes out and then goes up like that. I think that's really pronounced. Um, they really didn't change anything else on the car. So if you look at these lines compared to these lines, they're all the same. Um, you can't look at this right here because this is the 1LE spoiler and I have the high ray spoiler. So a little bit different spoiler. So you are seeing more of this on my car compared to that on that car. So that all looks the same. Uh, the tail, the deck lid looks the same. All that stuff is the same. Literally, they just changed this fascia. I'm just gonna hit this really, really hard because people trigger when I touch cars like this, but that's my own car so nobody can get triggered over it. So, because everybody's like, oh, let's see beer in your own car like that. It's a car. I'm not gonna hurt my car. I'm not gonna hurt somebody else's car, but uh, yeah, you know, just a little trigger moment for everybody. But um, yeah, love the new lights but I don't think they're gonna fit on my car. What do you think? Should I try it? There you go, back on the showroom floor where it belongs. I just wanna say thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button, that bell notification, and becoming a member of the channel. I look forward to seeing you on the next vlog. If there's anything I can do for you, all my contact information is in the description below, and make sure you check out those links I mentioned earlier. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and drive safely.